It's it's just awkward to reach over there. Okay, where are you? Okay, there we are. This this is one of those cautionary tales. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. if you've heard the the classic Joseph Spence rendition of that it's it's incredible <laughs> look it up on YouTube Joseph Spence Santa Claus is coming to town but uh, uh, so uh, well I don't Mark still on the line do you feel up to to sing this song or something yes I'm I'm going to try now the as Hanya's as uh, not in front of the com computer. Okay. As, uh, well, and, uh, yeah. I am you muting. Have a second here. Okay, okay. I'll give you a second. <laughs> okay, as uh, the, uh, okay. One thing here is for Chris and Jim, as uh, I, or, you know, and one thing I think is for Stuart and Jim. And I think as uh, I'll just do as uh, the one for is Stuart there. Uh, yeah. Stuart is here, but uh, neither Chris nor Jim are. I don't think okay. looking around the room. Just, just do it for me, Mark. Just do it for me. Come on. Who's okay, there? good. As, uh, so, you know, as uh, let let me do this one, okay? okay? Oh, not that one. As uh, 1912, okay? As uh, there as uh, there was a very uh, popular song as composed, okay? And in 1914, it was made popular by John McCormick, and I think you know as uh, what it is. Okay, as it's called a long way to Tipperary. Okay, it's uh, up to mighty London came an Irish lad one day. All the streets were paved with gold, so everyone was gay. Singing songs of Piccadilly, Strand, and Leicester Square, till Paddy got excited and he shouted to them there, It's a long, long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary, to the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly. Farewell to Leicester Square. It's a long, long way to Tipperary, by, but my heart's right there. And I'm not going to sing any more 
except that, of course, the as uh, come 1914, as come so on like this, as uh, there are, this becomes a marching song with political military lyrics. But I have one version as uh, one kind that is good for as, uh, as uh, uh, you know, for Jim, who's not there, and Chris, who's not there. It goes like this. It's a long, long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary, to the sweetest girls I know. Red sails in the sunset set, the shores of Kathmandu. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Happy birthday to you. Well, Jim and Chris are not around, but clearly Stuart enjoyed that. He's grinning ear to ear and uh, waving his thumbs in the air. Since you can't see him, I'll let you know. <laughs> hey, as, uh, may I sing another so that I can... Oh, you as, may. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. As, because I shared this one. Uh, this is the one that I as meant for Stuart and Jim because it's to the tune of Titwillow. You know the tune of Titwillow, don't you? La ta 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 Titwillow, it's from Mokado. As, and I wrote this upon the as electoral success of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu back in the 70s, I believe. Palestine's vein is but Israel's pride, Netanyahu, Netanyahu. Netanyahu, for a breadth of 10 miles, I am known far and wide. Netanyahu, Netanyahu, Netanyahu. In recent elections, my instincts were keen, and I'm a survivor. You know what I mean. I had nothing to do with the death of Rabin. Netanyahu, Netanyahu, Netanyahu. For infidel terrorists, I've got the cure. Hezbollah, Hezbollah. Hezbollah, I'll kill them all quickly of that, I am sure. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. The days of my life the most holy will bless, preserving me from the assassin's caress and smiling down on my defeat of Perez. Netanyahu, Netanyahu, Netanyahu. That's it. Well, I was, I was, I was pretty wild. <laughs> hey, uh, polit political pantomime, it's the season. Well oh, done, yes. Sir. Well done. It's always the season. <laughs> and it's the silly season, too. So, yeah. Okay, well, I, I wanted to welcome Connie. I don't think you've been with us before, yes? Um, yeah, you may want to unmute yourself if you want to say a couple of words. Could you go somewhere else? I'm picking up your voice. Yeah, Zoom Zoom won't let me unmute other people there. for them. There you go. I thought someone had me muted. So <laughs> I was going to keep quiet. <laughs> well, the way we do these things is we keep everybody muted until, uh, you know, I introduce you to sing. And then you can unmute yourself after we mute everyone else. So... But anyway, you're uh, how did how did you wind up in this uh, in, in all the all the gin joints in all the world? Uh, <laughs> how did you walk into this place? I don't know because I don't like gin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was just talking to Tom this morning and, and mentioned um, a Zoom I was doing tonight with some <clears throat> Irish or. I'm not sure what it is, but some Irish music. And so he said, well, this is going on. So I Great. said. Well, we're very so happy to have you. And I got you on the list here. So when we get around to you, I'll, uh, I'll uh, let you know you're on. And we're very appreciative. So for now, I think we will move on to the Bex, Alan Karen. And I'm muting everyone. Okay. All right, well, uh, first of all, let me move out of the way. <laughs> you can see we, the have, star. <laughs> we have our Yule Bach out. Uh, 
Um, this is uh, what they uh, whip out in Norway a lot for the Yuletide season. Uh, Thor used to uh, ride in a chariot uh, pulled by uh, two goats. So this is usually a symbol of the Yuletide. And um, on the old calendar, um, tomorrow, the 13th would be um, uh, the solstice in Scandinavia. And so uh, yeah. Karen's going to sing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to sing a song called St. Lucia, but this is the Swedish, it's not in Swedish, but it's a Swedish version because it's an important part of their holiday. This is what they start. This is the Festival of Lights. And so for a tiny little bit of history, St. Lucia, or you may have heard of St. Lucy, is known as the Italian Catholic Saint of Light, who according to legend brought food and aid to Christians hiding in the Roman uh, catacombs. And she, so she um, would wear a candle lit wreath and that allowed her to carry, you know, in the dark, carry as much food as possible uh, to, you know, help. She wanted to give um, help the, the poor that lived in these catacombs, find them, find find the Christians in there. And so she but she found, too, she wanted to give her life to God. So she didn't want to marry her suitor that was selected for her. And so when this news was reported to Roman authorities, she was eventually sentenced to death by fire in the year 304, quite a few years ago. So that's how that kind of St. Lucy, if you've heard of that, and there's all kinds of songs and mystery and, and it's quite a thing. But then we move forward into the lovely 1700s to Sweden. And, you know, I'm half Swedish. My dad is from Orebro, Sweden. And so, you know, up there, it's like the same kind of thing. The, the days are so short, you know, the sunlight's at 11, sundown three. So it's very dark right now. And basically the 1700s when Sweden, this kind of is similar where a girl in the morning, she will go ahead, feed her family breakfast, then she will get on a crown. Now they have, you know, pre-lit for safety reasons, but she does gather food and tries to go out with other members of her family and other kids out in the neighborhood or somewhere and deliver. She tries to give food to people that need it, to the poor, to the needy. And I think they do, and they also sing it, this song in the schools. And I love it for just the melody. I think it has a beautiful, melody that I, I've loved and I and yet it's all over the place. So you may have heard it through Elvis Presley did a version, whatever. And the, there's so many verses. But anyways, I just wanted to share it with you because I, I think it's a beautiful song. And so Al's going to play good old uh, accordion, uh, guitar, guitar for me. So I think we're ready. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to squeeze my guitar. <laughs> heavy steps through our land calling sunlight the earth forgets shadows are falling however dark the night rising with candles bright Santa Lucia Santa Lucia oh, Great. Are you gonna guys gonna give us another one since there's a pair of it? 
Um, I think uh, we'll wait until the uh, next okay. time around. Next uh, time around, then. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Adam, is it is that May with you there? I can't see. That. Yeah, she's very small on my screen. That's all I was <laughs> sure. <laughs> It's, it's a miniature woman. I think it's May. <laughs> but we'll turn it over to you guys as soon as I mute everybody here. Hey, let, uh, yes. When, when I listened back to our recordings from last time, my, my microphone was really distorted. Uh -huh. so just let me know if that's the case again. I, I turned down the gain on this. So hopefully that will. Okay. It sounds. Give us a couple of big full chords. Sounds still sounds a little, you know, but sometimes Zoom particularly has trouble with uh, uh, open strum strings a lot, like the auto harp's a problem. And uh, yeah, uh, did you uh, turn on original sound? I don't know what original sound is. Ah, that's how to fix these things. Um, um, Maybe a quick tutorial would be in order because it might be of interest <laughs> to other people. I'll do this quickly. I don't know. Gosh, can I show the Zoom desktop on sharing desktop? No, Liz says, no, you can't do that. Okay, so what you do is you go to the microphone icon and uh, there's a little, and I'm assuming you might be on a PC or a Mac yeah. or something. See the little microphone and yeah, a little... Yeah. Up carrot next to the microphone. I'm in the audio settings. Oh, good. Okay, that's where you go. And then at the bottom, there's a little button that says advanced. And oh, uh, here it is. Yeah. And uh, show in meeting option for to, to that's enable original exactly sound. That's exactly one. So be sure that's checked. I wouldn't okay. bother with high fidelity mode because it gives you some bandwidth problems and doesn't make much difference. So just be sure that uh, original sound thing is, and then close that window and you should see a, um, a little uh, message on the upper right-hand corner. It says, turn on original sound. Right there. And if uh, it says, turn off original sound. Okay, so if it says turn off and it's blue, then you're set. ready to go. Okay, well, hopefully it sounds all right today. Yeah, we'll give it a try. All right, let's give it a shot. This is the key of G, everybody, if you want to play along. Uh, are are oh, we all let me, let me mute everyone. Okay. And uh, whenever you're ready to unmute, Adam, go right ahead. All right, here we go. Hey, hey, mama, rock me. 
walking to the south by the road, no. Caught a truck around a Philly and a nice long tote, but he's hidden west from the Cumberland Gap. Time since he so I gotta keep moving before the sun. Hear my baby call my name. I know that she's the only one, and if I die, I'm ready. Me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, hey, mama, rock me. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, hey, mama, rock me. Hey. Yay. 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 Fun one. Well, Adam, believe it or not, the last time I remember playing that song was with you and Jack at yeah, Papa's. Okay. <laughs> and you were very kind to put up with me. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That was great. So uh, good times. Uh, and May, did you want to do one as well? Uh, Can you do something by yourself? Maybe next time because I okay, can't we'll think of anything. Come back around to it. Come back around. Okay. There'll be there's all there's always another chance on the song circle, that's for sure. So <laughs> so who's next on the list? Uh Connie. Connie, will you do one for us? You'll need to wait for me to mute everyone. And now we're ready when you can unmute. Oh, I'm yourself. gonna talk to you and I'm gonna I'm not prepared. My guitar has no strings. The piano's in the den. <laughs> so maybe next time I can. Okay. Well, next time and bring your strings. I have not sung a song for anybody in about two years. So there you go. Well, you know. I'll be back. Good opportunity. Good. Say, she stay, though, and listen. Yeah, she's staying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, since we already got everybody muted, I'll just mute Connie as well. And uh, and who's next? Who's next? Uh, Dave Polchek, if you please, sir. Okay, folks. So uh, one of the things that I've accumulated over the years is a repertoire of seasonal songs and tunes that are uh, off the beaten track, as you might say. And uh, these are some of my favorites that I get to trot out this time of year. This one here is a tune, out from the playing of a wonderful West Virginia fiddler named French Carpenter, who was part of a family of fiddlers. And uh, going back to the Civil War, even, or before, and he learned this old tune from them which he called old christmas morning which to them was january the 6th which was the end of the 12 days of the christmas season and that's when gift giving was done in the old days instead of uh, 25th but in any case uh this tune is as crooked as they come it's got a bunch of uh five four bars and everything else so i really like it old christmas morning a la french carpenter
very nice but short i mean you could squeeze in another if you want <laughs> oh okay this is uh this is a christmas song that i've heard for years but just recently learned the fourth verse to it it's called cradle hymn and it goes to that same tune that i used for uh pass uh Passing by Woods on a Snowy Evening, that Robert Frost poem. But this is uh, words by Isaac Watts on the Christmas theme. No, I'm enjoying just listening. And okay. um, I, I should mention, I'm going to just jump off suddenly to go to another thing that starts at 3 o'clock. Okay. Well, we're uh, glad to see you. And then yeah, it's good. it's good to see you all. Thank yeah. you. So, I'm trying to keep up with my list. I see that Jim is back with us. I am. Yeah, you were here a minute ago, I thought, but anyway, there you are. I'll put you on. So, well, since you're here, why don't we just have a song from Jim? Are you ready? Right. Okay, I'm muting everyone. <clears throat> Already. 
my audio. There we go. Uh, it's a song I gain a great deal of solace from. Um, and that everybody knows. She went down last October in a pour and driving rain. The skipper he'd been drinking and the mate he felt no pain. Too close to Three Mile Rock was she when she met her final blow. And the Mary Ellen Carter settled low. There was just us five aboard her when she finally was awash. We worked like hell to save her, all heedless of the cost. And the groan she gave them when she went down, it closed as to proclaim that the Mary Ellen Carter dries again. Now the owners wrote her off, not a nickel they'd spend. She gave 20 years of service, boys, and met her sorry end. But insurance paid the loss to us, so let her rest below. They laughed at us and said we had to go. But we've talked of her all winter, sometimes around the clock. She is worth a quarter million afloat and at the dock. And with every jar that hit the bar, we swore we would remain and make the Mary Ellen Carter rise again. Rise again, rise again. Let her name not be lost to the knowledge of men. All those who loved her best and were with her till the end will make the Mary Ellen Carter rise again. All spring now we've been with her on a barge lent by a friend. Three dives a day in hard hat suits and twice I've had the bends. Thank God it's only 60 feet and the currents here are slow, or I'd never have the strength to go below. But we sealed her vents and patched her rents, door patch and portal down, patch and portal down, put cable to her fore and aft, and girded her around. Tomorrow noon we take the slack and then take up the strain and watch the Mary Ellen Carter Rise again, rise again, rise again. Let her name not be lost to the knowledge of men. All those who loved her best and were with her till the end will make the Mary Ellen Carter rise again. But we couldn't leave her there, you see, to crumble into scale. She saved our lives too many times, a living through the gale. And the left and drunken rats that left her to her sorry fate, they won't be laughing in another day. All you to whom adversity has dealt the final blow, with smile and bastards lying to you. Everywhere you go, stand to and put out all your strength of arm and heart and brain and like the Mary Ellen Carter, rise again, rise again, rise again. Though your heart, it be broken and your life about to end, no matter what you've lost, be it a home, a love, a friend, like the Mary Ellen Carter, rise again. Yeah, oh, yeah. Good. 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 when you want to rise guys. again. Good one. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Terry, could I go next? I, I yeah. have to leave at, uh, in, in about an hour, so okay, I don't want to. Well, you're certainly welcome to go next. I'm and, and I've got a follow up for Jim's song. So oh, okay, okay, so I'm muting everyone.
Ready for Stuart. Thank you. I was going to come here today. My first song I was going to say, here's a song by Stan Rogers about a guy, a sailor, a, a seaman who's obsessed with a boat that has sunk and he was going to raise it from the seabeds and restore it. And it is not the Mary Ellen Carter. It's the other boat, a boat called the, the Blue Dolphin. And it's part of my uh, Keep Stan Rogers Alive series. So. There's an obscure reference in this to the Blue Nose. The Blue Nose is another song he wrote about a boat. So it's called Man and Blue Dolphin. It was just like him, he had to pick a boat gone from Dowdy to derelict in half a dozen years of searching for an owner. She maybe left her heart in the harbour mud, but she really caught his at the flood, and he wonders how she knew that she was waiting for a loner. Blue dolphin built by the ruling men, She's lying on the bottom again, with only him to care. The Blue Nose had a sister. He lost the house and he sold the car. His wife walked out, so he hit the bars and hit up every friend to raise the Blue Dolphin. And even a float, she's a hole in the water where his money goes. Every dollar gold And it's driving him Crazy He pounds his fist white On the dark in the night And cries, I'm gonna win And he licks the blood away And he's gonna raise the dolphin Blue dolphin's lying like a wounded whale She's hungry for a scrap of sail to get her underway. Back to salt water. Now there's a man lying spent in the winter sun. He wonders what the hell he has done and who would ever pay to save his schooner. And even a fraud, she's a hole in the water where his money goes. Every dollar gold And it's driving him crazy He pounds his fist white on the dock in the night And cries, I'm gonna win And he licks the blood away And he's gonna raise the dolphin And even afloat, she's a hole in the water Where his money goes And every dollar gold And it's driving him crazy he pounds his fist white on the dock in the night and cries i'm gonna win and he licks the blood away and he's gonna raise the dolphin and he's gonna raise the dolphin and he's gonna raise the dolphin Yay! 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 Yeah, great, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Stuart, uh, in the early 70s, uh, I played in a band. We played up at the Winnipeg uh, Folk Festival a number of times, and Stan Rogers was there. Oh, I saw him. Man. I saw him live, I think, about four times. Wow. Lucky yeah. man. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to let Tom go next since he uh, has other promises to keep, apparently. So you want to do one now, Tom? Okay, I'm muting. Already. Okay. Hanukkah is not Advent, is not Saturnalia, is not Yule, is not Solstice, is not Kwanzaa, is not even Festivus. 
skies ablaze with celestial events, conjunctions not seen for 800 years, seriously significant days and nights. We sleep through them. Astrologers, numerologists seek to awaken us again to connections arcane and so obvious. Moon, water, monthly cycles, sun, solar, sunstorm, sun, stars in constellation from which our stardust began. Astronomers chart far past our naked eyes, visions, telescopes fail us unless Hubble. Just to see Earth from the moon rise, hunger of frontiers, cold and dark as winter, hence our primal need for food and warmth, heat and light, whatever name you call it, may we carol and carouse tonight, wassail, because you see as you are, see each leap as the line of a prayer, a song that branches out of the trunk that stands rooted in this altar earth with all elders, ancestors, indigenous. You can love trees generically, individually. You can look lovingly upon each and every. You can hug and hold them close to your heart, plant, seed, water, nurture young saplings, care for, curate, clip, maintain, tree husbandry again. You can invoke William Blake, Arthur Rackham, Walt Whitman, Herman Hess, Art Young, and Wangari Mathai. You can be another tree in another ancient forest. Stand with sister brothers against all bulldozers. See each uniquely as you are human, tree, humanity, the tree of life, is every tree, each and all in diversity, from forest tree to urban city, towering oaks to tiny clip bonsai bushes. Each spark of green implies ancient ancestry, to be part of our green heritage, wild and free, from which the green man sprangeth, to remind us of our link to every living greenery. We're all leaves in autumn, and we fall upon the good rich earth that feeds trees tall as redwoods. When winter comes, we are all bare branched, with only our seed as promises of reincarnations. Each tree, a meditation upon growth, decline, how wise to stand with those with roots deep in the sunshine and spread our arms to cup that branch of sunshine. To all birds to nest within us and supply all necessary oxygen. And if beauty be a wish, to hide all bad architecture with our screening trees, to fill all parks and gardens with our green and dream of good God pre us before we Oops, Tom has frozen up a little. And stripped out all the forest leaves, having green for Forests return after gone until then, then reforesting, dreaming. Wow, I don't know why. So I'll talk fast. Thank you for this metaphor of sin as snake and knowledge, of apple as pomegranate, of Eden as innocent second wife, Tigris and Euphrates now different empires, wars have broken stones and bodies, if not for gold, perhaps for oil, dynasties fall, we sing new songs for Ozymandias, older songs for occupations, wisdom is our witness, playing with Rosetta stones in the bright sun, illuminating stories in translation, when we wake up again, which testament, which burning bush, which way to the water wars, the endless walls, Jesus was a Palestinian, Jesus was a Jew. Every story is true. Thank you. <laughs> Yay, Tom. Yay. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Uh, that was wonderful. I'm afraid you froze up for a little part of it, but it wasn't very long. Uh, thank you. It was pure. It turned into pure energy. Mm -hmm. Then you got back to words again. It was great. Yeah. Grateful, grateful. Mm -hmm. I'll see you all sooner. Poetry calls. Okay. All right. Bye, Tom. Uh, okay, Tom and the Hortons. We keep going around the Hortons. I hope you're still there. Oh, there you are. You're still there. I'm going to mute everybody in hopes that you'll give us a number. Uh, all ready for you. Okay. Um, we're going to start out with a folk tune that's sometimes called the Cherry Tree Carol. And um, I first heard it when my children were in preschool. And the uh, song was about as Joseph was a walking was the words the kids sang and we really liked the tune so we wrote a little arrangement to that and we've also played another group and then uh, when we finish that we're gonna do a real short little uh, Hanukkah song because last week was the beginning of Hanukkah so we'll have we'll be diverse we'll have our <laughs> Joseph and Hanukkah <laughs> okay, back here I see you. <laughs> I don't know if you notice. All right, ready? 
Yay! Got those tuneful bells. <laughs> <laughs> they go great with Christmas. Yeah, yeah. they were great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, and I think we have Mary Jane on our list. Everybody's been moving around a lot, so uh, uh, sorry, I, you know, you had to wait, Mary Jane, but it's your turn now. Yeah, so, well, uh, how was the uh, last one in? I'm sorry I was late. I had Well, to... everybody's been shuffling around on my screen, so I don't know who came first and who came last. Yeah. But anyway, it's your turn now. Well, uh, right. Muting everyone. All ready for you, Mary Jane. All right, I'm unmuting. 
Well, I'm going to do, this is kind of a pre-Christmas carol. Uh, I, I also like, David like to do Christmas carols around Christmas since he can't do them any other time. And this one's called People Look East by Eleanor Fargion. I think Stuart did a song by her not too long ago. Okay, see if it works this time. The time is near of the crowning of the year. Make your house fair as you are able. Trim the hearth and set the table. People look east and sing today. Love the guest is on the way. <laughs> Burrows be glad though earth is bare, one more seed is planted there. Give up your strength, the seed to nourish, that in course the flower may flourish. People look east and sing today, love the roses on the way. Thank you, Mary Jane. Now, have I have I got everybody, or did I miss someone? Okay, I'm. Uh, you know, good song title. I still miss someone, and I always. <laughs> but uh, okay, so I'm gonna mute you all and give you a song myself. Okay, so I was last week. I was doing a, a blues for uh, Jeffrey Hall. He had this little poem that was a uh, blues and he wanted someone to put blues music to it. So I did that. And what I came up with was uh, actually pretty much close to identical to this song. It's uh, an old favorite of mine. And I think it's a blues that's been around for quite a long time, but the earliest recording I found of it was in 1950 by Cookie and the Cupcakes. But all the usual suspects have done it. I learned it from Dave and Ronk and, uh, you know, Josh White and Brownie and Sonny and um, all kinds of blues folks have done it. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tender love story. It's a story of love, crime, and justice. Well, Betty and Dupree.
de prix She want a diamond ring Betty told Dupree She want a diamond ring Well, Dupree told Betty For you I do most anything Well, he bought him a pistol It was a forty-four. Yes, he bought him a pistol it was a 44 To get that diamond ring for Betty Dupree had to rob a jewelry store The police caught Dupree and they put him in Atlanta jail. Yeah, the police caught Dupree and they put him in Atlanta jail. He sent for his Betty to come and go his bed. Well, Betty came to see him, but his face she could not see. Well, Betty came to see him, but his face she could not see. Yes, yeah, she said to the warden, bring him this message for me. He said, I came to see you, but I could not see your face. She said, I came to see you, but I could not see your face. Just want to tell you, Dupree, nobody's going to take your place. Betty told Dupree she wanted a diamond ring. Yeah, Betty told Dupree she wanted a diamond ring. Yeah, Dupree told Betty for you I'd do most anything. Thank you. It's very sentimental. The blue styling <laughs> of Terry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jerry. Yep. It's, my machine is just about us uh, out of gas here. So oh, okay. uh, uh, um, I'd like uh, could I could I just read you a, a short story oh, from my sure. mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Uh, and I'll mute everybody and uh <clears throat> And now we're, let me just unmute you. Yeah. Can I'm unmuted. You unmute? Oh, I'm there muted. you go. Okay. Here we're I ready. Okay. As, uh, I call this Aunt, Aunt Pat's Christmas me uh, memory. My mother was Patricia Sorrell. 
and of course, as uh, that makes uh, her as uh, Carrie's and Chris's as aunt, okay, as uh, and my mother was quite a writer. So as uh, she wrote this, I found it in her memoirs, it's a, like this manuscript. She said, when my oldest sister was small, my father had been in New Orleans just before Christmas. It was during the First World War and toys, which at that time were mostly made in Germany, were understandably scarce. My father visited a toy shop and was disappointed by the crudely, crudely made American dolls. But as he often did with strangers, he began to talk and visit with the old proprietor of the shop. The man was German born and he was cautious at first in his conversation. Many German Americans in their shops had suffered from the super patriotism of looting lawless mobs. But the old man warmed to my father's friendliness and his story of the little daughter who wanted a doll for Christmas. So he led the way upstairs into the attic where stored away were two lovely German dolls, one light haired and one dark. Since my father chose the dark one and my sister called her Dorothy Gish, the other one must have been Lillian Gish. I wonder which girl got her. Little girl got her. Very sweet. Brings me fond memories of your nice. mom, who I miss very much. Aww. Yeah. Okay. So we've gone all the okay, way around. Uh, oh. Just mm -hmm. for a final note, as, yes. uh, she passed away on the 10th of December as uh, 2013. And of mm -hmm. course, 10th, 10th of December is Chris's <laughs> birthday. Oh, okay. that's right. It is indeed. Wow. Okay, I'm leaving now. Bye bye. Okay, Thanks. take care. I hope things bye -bye. work out for you, Mark. It sounds Thank like you very difficult, much. difficult times for Mark in Poland right now. So we are uh, we are all the way around again and come back around to Larry Vaughn. There he is, looking very Santa Clausian. Uh, I'm. I can't hear you, Larry, because you're muted. I'm muting everyone so you can unmute. Just a minute. Okay, you'll need to unmute again. Our, our timing's a little off here. Larry, un unmute for us one more time. Ah, there's Joanna in a Santa Claus hat. There yeah, you go. She's, uh, she's Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Um, now you've heard Dasher and Dancer and Dancer and Comet and Cupid and Donner and But to The most famous reindeer of all, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, and the Shiny Nose. And if you ever saw him, you would hear him say, All of the other. Then one. 
Like Sacagawea. <laughs> That's great, Larry. And, and you know, when I wander off, I can still hear you. <laughs> I just want you to know I wasn't walking out on you. Okay. Uh, so next is, uh, no, next is Mark, but he's gone. Uh, and so we're back around Al and Karen. I am muting everyone. <sighs> And we're ready for you guys, Al and Karen. Yeah. I'll do it soon on my harmonica. And boy, it just occurred to me that uh, I should learn some Hanukkah songs because it's the only thing I can think of that rhymes with harmonica. <laughs> Hanukkah harmonica. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I looked up some songs earlier, but uh, they're in some, uh, a lot of the, uh, Hanukkah songs are in some crazy minor keys, so I'm going to have to work on those. But uh, we got uh, uh, Christmas favorite here. in the season this time i didn't have any seasonal songs i used them all up on the celtic session i think uh, oh, i may bring more just, we've got I, two more we've got I, we've got our boxing day session you know on the 26th and we got one more before that and we've got stone soup so plenty more time for seasonal offerings i just yeah. want to point out that was not just bells that was sleigh bells ah yeah <laughs> slays me every time ah. okay Okay. Uh, da, da, da. So, Alan, Karen. Oh, Adam, you still with us? There you are. Okay, you want to do another for us? I'm muting everyone. Sure, it's her turn this time, though. Yeah, you'll need to unmute one more time after I do this. So, there you go. Okay. Ready, ready? Yeah.
Who is your furry friend there? <laughs> oh, this, this, is, this is the backup band here. This is Red Cloud. This is Red, Red Cloud. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good to have a canine friend who is moved by romantic music. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think May mentioned this last week, but um, you know who wrote that? Charlie, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, first. I thought that was pretty cool when I found that out too. <laughs> That's a wonderful song. It is. And a wonderful rendition. So, uh, so Al, uh, Adam, uh, Dave Polachek, uh, yeah. I am muting everyone for you. We are ready. Thank you, Terry. So, this is uh, our latest. Uh, poem into song project. Karen suggested this song, and uh, it seems to work really well with uh, the wonderful air Carrick Fergus. So uh, it's actually been set to music several times, but I don't think anyone has used this tune for it. It's by Alfred Lord Tennyson, and it's called Ring Out Wild Bells. And it's a 19th century poem, but it seems to have a lot of contemporary uh, meaning. So see if you find echoes of our times in this 19th century piece of poetry. the snow the year is going let him go bring out the falls bring in the true bring out the grief that saps the mind for those that hear we see no more bring bring out the feud of rich and poor Bring in redress to all mankind. Bring out a slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife. Bring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, pure love. Bring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes, but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite ring in the love of truth and right ring in the common love of good ring out old shapes of foul disease ring out the narrowing lust of gold 
Ring out the thousand wars of old. Ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant men and free. The larger heart, the kindlier hand. Ring out the darkness of the land. Ring in the cries that is to be. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, you know, much needed message for these times, for sure. Good one. Okay. So, Jim, Yay. there you are. You seem to be in yeah. your in your living room instead of your kitchen. Or where are you? <laughs> I'm in my living room because they're because Condelaria and Kathy are um, are almost finished in my. Oh. If you I had to send... move out of my kitchen to let them pin, you know. I would like to wave at Condelaria and Kathy. <laughs> They're around. Hey, uh, Condelaria, Kathy. Carrie wants to say hello. And Liz. <laughs> oh, and Liz. Hold hey. On. Hey. Hi there. Hi, Hi guys. Are you guys Hi. making? Hi. You making? You making? Uh, um, what are you doing there? She's, they're cleaning. <laughs> you're cleaning? Oh. No, I know what you're doing there. What are you doing there? <laughs> no, I thought maybe you were using Jim's kitchen to, do, to bake. More easily. Yeah, well, it's just been so long. I, I just hope everyone's yeah. well at your house. And yeah, you're, you're yeah. You're doing okay? Yes, everybody's okay. Oh, good. Good, good. good. And, and, you know, I'm baking right now, so I thought maybe you were using Jim's house to bake. But you have your own kitchen. Oh, uh, she has her own kitchen. You know, you know, you That's an idea. Yeah, yeah. 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 They can bake some things for you. Yeah. So. There's always the danger of cats walking through the bread pan. But, That's you know. true. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, we miss you. We miss you. <laughs> we really do. Okay, so I'm going to hush you. everybody up and let Jim sing now. Yes, right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, all ready. There we go. Uh, here you go. Thanks. There is a bomb in Gilead. To make the wounded whole, there is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. Sometimes I feel discouraged and think my work's in vain. But then the Holy Spirit revives me once again. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead to heal a sin-sick soul. Don't ever feel discouraged, for Jesus is your friend. And if you lack for knowledge, he'll not refuse to learn. There is a balm in Gilead, to make the wounded whole, there is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin-sick soul. If you can't preach like Peter, if you can't pray like Paul, 
Go round and tell your neighbors he died to save us all. There is a bomb in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a bomb in Gilead to heal the sin-sick soul. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice bit of gospel. Hey, Sandy okay. put her heart there on her sleeve there. So. I love it. <laughs> it went away. Okay. Um, so, uh, oh, and next we have Sandy and Jeff. Uh, I, oh, no, wait, wait, I, I need to go who's next. Waving at us? Huh? I need to go next. Oh, okay. <laughs> then it's Stuart. Because <laughs> uh, I'm. That's why I got in last time. It, it's Sorry. okay. I'm muting everyone. Um, we'll, we'll leave the cream to float to the surface at the end. You see. Okay. All right. Ready for you, Stuart. All right. Um, I'm going to do a Lude and Wayne. Lude and Wayne write the third song now. Luden, most people think Luden's a real, uh, what's the right word? Prickly, unapproachable, sarcastic, cynical, odd-humoured kind of guy. But he did do one album in 1971 that really brought out his humanity. And the background is, in 1997, he was 50, 51, and his mother died. And he went to her funeral, and he went home from the funeral into her house. And he stayed there for three to four years in deep grief. And he stopped performing, he stopped recording, he stopped everything. But out of it came an album in 1971 called The Last Man on Earth. And there's a bunch of reflections on his experience with his mother and his, his grieving. And this was, the, this to me is the pick of the songs. It's called Homeless. When you're alive, I was never alone. Somewhere in the world, there was something called home. And as long as you live, I will be all reasons to win and incentives to fight now I'm smoking again I thought all that was through and I don't want to live but what else I don't know That's why I've done this For all of this time But now playing and singing Seems like a game I'm fine, I assure them I am, but 
I'm not. It's a lie. They say in the end, your good friends will pull you through. But everyone knows, my best friend was you. I have gotten some help. I guess I was afraid. You suppose something will happen when someone is paid? But I am getting better. Once again, I'll be strong. I'm singing this song When you were alive I was never alone Somewhere in the world There was something I feel like I'm homeless, but I'll be alright. I'll get through the days, and I'll face down the nights. Bravo! Yeah, thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so now I think we're around to Mary Jane. You ready for us, Mary Jane? Yeah. Well, what are, weren't the Hartons supposed to come first? Oh, the Hortons! My goodness. Yeah, I guess so. Let, let, let's do the Hortons next. I'm having trouble keeping up today. Uh, so, Hortons, I'm muting everyone. Um, and uh, we're ready when you are. Okay, we're going to do two songs with come in them. Uh, the first Advent one is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, which everyone knows. It was from a plain song in 1200. And then uh, another little short children's song called O Come, Little Children. And I'm going to play that on a um, little pan pipe that I actually bought in France. But I didn't play it on the French songs, but I'm going to play it on the Come Little Children song that's German. So um, this is a Come Come Emmanuel. Right. Okay. Thank you. 
Yay! Yay! Yeah, lovely. All right. Uh, okay. okay, now. Uh, oh, no. Are Take you the second going? item. I think we could go to Mary Jane. <laughs> okay. Muting everyone. And ready for Mary Jane when you can unmute. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the little drummer boy. It's a song by uh, Catherine Davis, who I, I didn't ever know really who wrote it and I haven't heard anything else about Catherine Davis except this one song but it's kind of a nice song when I, I was in a band and we did it once for the Christmas season and we had a drum so I feel like it's too bad we don't have this drum but I can't play both the guitar and a drum at the same time so Something's got to go. But if any of you have a drum sitting around, you can pull it out and start beating on it if you wish. King to see Baron Ba Bum Bum. Our finest gifts will bring Baron Ba Bum Bum. To lay before the king Baron Ba Bum Bum. Okay. 
gift to bring for a pum pum pum. That's fit to give a king for a pum pum pum. Rum pum pum pum. Rum pum pum pum. Shall I play for you for a pum pum pum? I've been so confused today. I don't know if I'm leaving anyone out. Is there anyone else to? Uh, okay, so I'll I will take my cue then, and mute everyone. So, this week I was working on a a, a video uh, for a uh, an African American woman friend of uh, Larry and Joanna's who has passed away and. Uh, and I was putting in a soundtrack of a series of gospel songs that uh, various folks had suggested. And boy, did I get into it. I, I felt like going out and finding an AME church and joining the choir. <laughs> so, so that put me in the mood for spirituals. So this is a very old spiritual. And also, you know, it's also played as a New Orleans jazz band standard, and it's called Roll Jordan Roll. I am muting everyone. Oh, it looks like everybody's muted. Maybe I already did that. <laughs> okay. So... So, you know, you got to, everybody has to clap <laughs> and stomp and testify, you know. Well, now roll, Jordan, roll.
my sister, you ought to have been there. Yes, my Lord, sitting up there on the golden stair. Yes, my Lord. says David. <laughs> I was just right here. Yeah. yeah. So that's everybody. Uh, we always like to give a chance for somebody to throw in an encore if they want. Anybody up for that? Okay, well, maybe not net this time. We'll see you next time around, which will be next Saturday and after that, uh, the Stone Soup Sessions. So, Bye, everybody. Take care of yourself, everybody. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.